today for my cartoon blog I am going to try to create the outline for a cartoon bird watcher so I start off by throwing shapes and as of, often I use S S sketchbook pro 7 now I have got the latest version I, I found it is worthwhile in getting the subscription so that you're constantly up to date then keep buying the full program each time so as I said I started off just roughly drawing outlines to get a rough feel for the cartoon that I want to create now the reason I create these is for my personalized printing block I do a lot of cartoon marks and I like to create my own images now when I start drawing hopefully my voice will keep going when I start drawing if I make mistakes I just rub them out and start again just keep going until I get what I want and then I will then start to think about adding it to a lab as I go through stages I select another layer and I the layer below with the image up to, to up to date is the one that I will lower the opacity on now sketchbook makes it very easy for me for someone who suffers from short term memory very easy works place to look at all oh, everything I need is there and the latest version has got an incredible amount of more brushes it's just so good this software I will tend to use this so much I've tried manga but I seem to there's so much to learn it by the time I get through the first part of learning something I am back to where I was forgotten half of it so sketchbook really does work well for me right let's just give my voice a couple of more minutes as you can see I've added the audio after doing me little rough bit of cartoon art well clip art is it, they look good when they're finished oh, I feel when I finish this I will have it in my hobbies collection so I will save it as a PNG so that there's no white background and then I can if I want to create a, a specific background for the image I can do that and then just add this onto it as you can see when I make mistakes I don't worry about it I just keep changing it so I've adapted it in the lasso tool on sketchbook it's so easy to use and move the selected part around it's probably one of the easiest programs I've ever found to use now I do also also believe for the readers of my blog <coughs> excuse, excuse me I like to if I make mistakes I just put it all in the film I'm fed up watching videos of fantastic bits of artwork and they may have so heavily edited they look like they never make mistakes well on this blog you will not see that you get to see all my screw ups as I make them I spend half my life going one step forward three steps back as you can see now I'm trying some gas with the transform tools this is another great little tool that is in sketchbook for specific uses I've decided against it I was going to distort the little cartoon but I've decided not to so I now going over same rules as usual new layer everything in layers and then I'm going over with the pen it's a fantastic pen that sketchbook has got 
got the drawing pen is so good. And it is so intuitive. And making any brushes that you require is so easy with this. I mean, coral, I always thought it was quite a lot of points in about to create a brush in coral. But with sketchbook, they've made it very simple. Now this will not be the finished image, but I just wanted to show how I go about making my little cartoon characters. There will probably be, before I get to colouring, there will probably be more changes. Don't care how far I get through the drawing, I will change it if I'm not happy with it. I've also obviously speeded this video up for ease of viewing. But I would say it took me about half an hour for, to create my little bit of clip art for my bird watching mug, personalised mug. It is certainly makes life a lot easier if you can if you don't have to be brilliant for it, but if you can do your own bits of art it's a lot better than having to keep forking out for commercially licensed artwork for you to use, paying for a license for you to use it. Anyway, I think I am getting close now to the point where I'm thinking that will be it and sit it down for a couple of days probably and then have another look, see if I'm, my opinion of it has changed. I'm quite happy with it at the moment. Struggling a bit with the hands, but these things happen. So I probably will actually change the hands a bit more. I should have probably looked for a better pose but instead of looking I just decided to make it up as I went along that's just the way I like to do things anyway this is going to be my latest blog post from a, on the blog and uh, I'm sorry for not being on very much of late but I have been hit with the dreaded procrastination. I seem to be able to get involved in everything, including sticking my head in the fridge and getting on with what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Feel free to comment on my blog if you have anything to say about this and how I go about it. And thank you for watching. Until the next time, thank you and goodbye.